Hey guys, it's me, Jess, and welcome to another video. Today's video is just going to be a what sold in the last two days. I thought it would be interesting just to see what I've sold all together, those high dollar sales, those low dollar sales, and just what is selling right now. Before we jump into this video, I do want to introduce myself. Hey, I'm Jess. I'm a part-time reseller. I now sell on eBay, Poshmark, Macari, Facebook Marketplace, and Tradesy. So I did add two, well, two and a half because I did up my Macari game. And I'm super excited because I have made three sales on Facebook Marketplace, none of which were on this weekend's What Sold. And then I literally just started Tradesy. I haven't sold anything there yet, but I have been cross posting. So on this channel, I typically do What Sold videos at least once a month. I do a lot of unboxings and then the occasional tips and tricks videos if you guys are interested in those. So without further ado, let's just jump into the video. So this is actually pretty exciting because I actually get to show you what sold. So these are some no bull. These are the CrossFit trainer shoes. And I was really excited because I have heard of this brand and these are in really good condition. They do look like they're kind of dirty, but that's just the way they came. I found these at the Goodwill outlet. That is where I pay by the pound. They now charge $1.39 per pound. And in this haul, I end up paying a dollar per piece. So technically I paid a dollar for this. And it sold on Macari for $58. And another sale on Macari. This is my final sale on Macari. I sold two things this weekend. Were these Tory Burch sandals. Pretty cute. Love them. They're really clean and in really good shape. I also found these at the Goodwill outlet. This was a day where my friend and I, uh, we found so much Tory Burch. Actually, <laughs> she probably found it all. I think I came home with uh, two Tory Burches, this pair and a pair that I am going to like rehab or just take the little charm off and make into the necklace <laughs> someday in the future. It's It's been a couple months <laughs> and I haven't done it yet. So and then she found like three or four Tory Burches that she's probably already sold by now because she's a rock star. Anyways, again, I paid like a dollar per piece and these sold for $54. And now we will jump on over to eBay. I had a total of three sales on eBay this weekend. And the first was this fun red coat. It is by the brand APT or Apartment 9. That brand is sold at Kohl's. So this came from my mom. She gave me a reseller mystery box for Christmas. She dressed it up like a cat. It was super cute. And my mom no longer sells clothing. So she gave all of it to me free of charge. So this is considered free. I did have a few of them. I believe this is my last one. So pretty excited to get rid of those because they do take up a lot of room. And I ended up selling this one for $29.99. Next is actually right here. I'm pretty excited. I didn't have to get up to for this one. It is uh, Talbot's and it's just a little striped sweater. It's a 3X and I do pick up Talbot's when I can find it really cheap. So this I found at the bins. It was an average of a dollar per piece for this haul. And Talbot's uh, plus sizes sell really well and super fast for me. And with bin stuff, I just, I kind of want to move it fast. So I don't really care about price just as long as I'm getting at least more than like $10. But this one sold for $19.99. The last thing that sold on eBay are these huge Skechers. They have a little air thingy there. So I'm assuming that helps it sell a little bit. These I ended up getting in a Goodwill blue box. I do love Goodwill blue boxes because uh, their shoes are really, really clean. There's never really anything you have to do with these shoes. Like thread up, I feel like you have to clean those a lot. And if you get shoes at the Goodwill bins, <laughs> you really, really have to clean some of those up. So uh, for these shoes, I paid $7 per pair that were in there. And I sold these for the box price, that doesn't include shipping, of $29.99. All right, time for Poshmark sales. I picked up this Harley Davidson little mini backpack. I thought it was cute. Anything that says Harley Davidson, I always have to give another gander. I looked this over real quick. I was like, it does have a few spots, but maybe I can take a baby wipe and clean those up real fast. And the inside was immaculate. The only issue I did not see was the leather on the trim is kind of peeling. I did disclose all of that in the listing so the buyer should be aware and i let this go real quick it, it did have a lot of likes uh but yeah somebody offered me 15 
and I found this at the Goodwill bins. So of course I have a dollar into it. So I am fine with taking 15. Oh, well, I'm just now noticing almost all of these sales are from the Goodwill outlet. Another sale from the Goodwill outlet are these block boots. I thought these were like winter boots for kids. It had the tag on it. I was like, these weigh like nothing and they're boots. So I'm going to just go ahead and throw them in my cart. Again, I paid a dollar. I found these on Amazon. I believe they're selling for like 35. So I priced mine at 35 and somebody offered me 20. So yeah, I'm going to take that. And to clarify, these are warm-up boots for ballet, not for the winter. Another Goodwill Ben's find was this Barek. Mm, I don't know. It's vintage. It's a sweater. And oh, there you go. You can see what it has on it. It has cats on it. I love, love picking up cat stuff. And I know those cat lovers are out there. So of course I have to pick it up for them as well. I typically keep a lot of stuff that has cat on it. Uh, this was a little too big for me and I don't think I would wear it out in public. No offense. And at Goodwill Outlet, I spent a dollar and it sold for 20. So I will take that. One of my favorite things to resell is bras because they are super light. So when you get them at the bend, you're literally paying a quarter. I still say I paid a dollar for this. Um, this is a Torrid Curve bra. It is a rather large size. The larger the size the bra, the better it sells. This is just a black lace bralette. So super cool, super cute. I got an offer for 22, so I took it. All right, here comes the oldest item that I've had in my closet that sold this weekend. Are these fun little tiki mugs? They are from the Ron John. Ah, ah, ah. I feel like I'm echoing. I have two of them. They're so cute. So me and my mom took a trip to Fort Myers, Florida, maybe a year ago. So I've had these a year. She was like, I have to go to this Ron John surf shop. And I was like, I don't want to go, <laughs> but you know, I'm going to go. She invited me. Whenever I go somewhere that I'm not really thrilled about going to, I go to their clearance section and then I search to see what I can buy to resell. What do you know? These were there and they were marked $9.99 each. I peeled off the sticker so I could take a photo. Well, I paid $20 for these and I ended up selling them for $75. All right, this next item is a cute little dress. And I know a lot of people pass on this brand, but I will not pass on this brand knowing how much I got for this dress. I did pick it up at the Salvation Army. It was a brand new tag, so those factors do come into play. Anyways, this is just a cute lace dress by the brand Lane Bryant. And so I know everybody passes on Lane Bryant, but I mean, I will definitely give Lane Bryant a second glance after this sale because this did end up selling for $44, which I think is extremely good for a brand that everybody passes on. Okay, this next brand is another brand I don't pick up unless it is brand new with tags and super, super cheap. It's called Beverly Hills Polo Club. This is just a pair of lightweight leggings. They're in a size large. They're black. Everybody needs a black pair of leggings. I found these at Ross's Big Clearance last month, and these were only 49 cents. So to have something sell within a month, and I paid 49 cents, and to get an offer of $19, it's, it's fine. I will take that all day long. So a fun one, I do some consigning, but I only do it with family. So I do consignment with my brother. I mean, he gives me this stuff for free, so that's fine. He was so excited one day. He cleaned out his like pants section of his closet. He just threw a bunch of pants into a trash bag. He gave it to me. I went through them and I listed about maybe 75% of them. Uh, they were like Express, Gap, stuff I don't normally sell, but I know I could get at least $15 for. And this happens to be a pair of Nike golf pants. And so Nike does really well for me. I don't sell it for much. If I can still make something and not put something in the landfill or at Goodwill, that's that's a win. So I have had this about a month and I ended up selling it for $18. Again, I paid nothing for these. So, so that's, uh, that's pretty good. Okay, so I have to kind of move out of the way because here's the next item. Perfect. It's, it's a bigger item. So I'm glad it sold on Poshmark because shipping on this might be a little expensive. Um, no, these are not the, I <laughs> just looked, this is not the item. So let me put these back. Okay. These aren't as heavy, but they are still two pairs of pants that, uh, came in here. <laughs> I gotta make sure there's a green pair 
and there's a black pair. This again, I found at the Goodwill Outlet. Actually, my friend Kendra, who goes with me every time we go to the Goodwill Outlets, I can't go by myself. It just gets a little too crazy. She found that these, she says, oh, I know you do well with towel bits, so I'm just going to give these to you. They're corduroy, which is another big factor in why I think these sold. Again, I'm paying $2 for both pairs and then to sell them for $18, that's totally fine with me. And I just sold something else, so I'm going to go ahead and do that one since it's a teeny tiny sale. It's actually, it's actually right here. You've probably been looking at it the whole time. Okay, so honestly, I probably won't pick up this brand ever again. I actually did a video where I said uh, the top five brands that I won't pick up anymore, and this was one of them. Um, but I did find it at outlet prices. This was just so cute. It was a larger size, so I thought maybe it would sell fast and for a decent amount. But I forgot about this one. It did have uh, some bleeding that came from the pink that went onto the collar. So that was definitely a flaw that I had to list. Somebody offered me eight, which I never ever take less than 10, but you know, I don't want to keep this and I don't want to give it back to Goodwill. I did appreciate the fact that I kept this out of the landfill and it will go to somebody who will actually be using it. Accepted the offer for eight. I guess I make like five dollars. So I still, I'm in the profit four dollars. Okay, the last and final item is this Barefoot Dreams hoodie. And I was super excited when I found this. I never ever find Barefoot Dreams in my area. I traveled to Springfield, Illinois to meet my mom. So that's like a halfway point to my mom's house from my house. <laughs> And we like to meet up just to do some retail arbitrage. She goes to one store that I don't particularly like. And so I go to Goodwill and then we meet up later on. Anyways, in this trip, I did find two Barefoot Dreams like sweater things. Obviously this one and another one. And what's pretty awesome is I did release a TikTok last night just saying, you know, I sell thrift store clothes as a part-time job. These are some of the brands that I picked up. And one of them I showed was this. I ended up getting three offers that night and I took the one that was the highest, obviously. It was only $7 less than my asking price, which I thought my asking price was a bit high anyway. So yeah, I ended up uh, purchasing this for $5 and I ended up selling it for $50. Alright, that was it for my sales. I think this is one of my best weekends ever uh, quantity wise and I am looking to get rid of a lot of stuff. I am not excited about shipping but I will go ahead and just roll some footage of what my items <laughs> look like before and after shipping so that you can see. But I appreciate you guys being here. Make sure you're subscribed down below. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks and have a great day. Bye. And here's a look at all the items that just set out on my table. So this might, this might take a little bit, but we will get packing. And here it is all packaged up and ready to go to the post office. I did add two extras, a Woolrich dress and Ugg sandals. Thanks again for watching.